Welcome back everyone, Mean Pooh here, and today we will be using the application called Throttle Stop to undervolt your CPU. If you are using Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, you will have to reset the offsets to default and then uninstall. Perform a complete computer shutdown and then reboot. If you are using the undervolt at login tutorial, you will have to open Task Scheduler, find your task in the list, and either delete it or disable it. You will then perform the steps I stated previously, which were to set your offsets to default and uninstall. Don't forget to do a complete computer shutdown and reboot. Once back in Windows, head over to your power options and make sure it is set to better performance. Next, head over to techpowerup.com and download Throttle Stop. When it is done, extract the program and execute Throttle Stop EXE. You'll be greeted with a message telling you that you can really mess your machine up if you are reckless and irresponsible. If you agree, go ahead and click OK. The next message says for best results, exit HW info when using limit reasons. This determines the reason why your processor performance was reduced, if that actually happens. Now before we change some things, it's better to know a bit about your processor. For me, I have the i5-7300HQ. This is also listed on the top right column. It has four CPU cores running at 2.5, and when turbo is engaged, one core can reach 3.5 gigahertz, while all four can only reach 3.1. It has a thermal design point or TDP of 45 watts. So for me, I know that I do not want my CPU running nowhere close to 3.5 gigahertz, and I choose to use the speed of 3.1 gigahertz. Notice at the top of the screen, on the left side, there are four radio buttons. These are called profiles. For this tutorial, we are going to use the third one, which is called internet. You can change the name later if you want, and this is, again, just for the tutorial. Now with that out of the way, Put a check in Speed Shift EPP. Next, click TPL and put a check in the option that says Enable Speed Shift when Throttle Stop starts. And I am also going to put where it says Min, Max, and Range. I'm going to go ahead and put 31 since I already know what I want. Click Apply and then OK. Next, let's open up the voltage regulator at the bottom with the words FIVR or FIVR. There's a lot going on on this screen, but don't worry, we're not going to use much. Make sure that you have your correct profile selected. As I stated earlier, I want my CPU to stay away from 3.5 gigahertz. Though it is possible to disable turbo, I do want a little speed and not to be stuck at 2.5 gigahertz. Here in turbo ratio limits, the multiplier it has a max of 35, which is equivalent to 3.5 gigahertz. For my current profile, I am going to change all cores to 3.1. With this setting, you will lose some overall PC performance, but you will also decrease heat as well. I also found a handy little sheet on Wikipedia that lets you check the turbo speed of your cores. With that set, move to the next column and toggle the CPU core. Moving on down, put a check in Unlock Adjustable Voltage. This will let us adjust the offset voltage. The range should be set to 125 millivolts. Adjust the offset to something small such as negative 50. If you can't get it exact, just get as close as you can. Remember this number and go back to the top and toggle CPU Cache. We're going to do the same thing. Put a check in unlock adjustable voltage and put the same setting in offset voltage. When you are done, move down to the right to where you see save voltage changes to throttle stop INI. Toggle the OK do not save voltage option. Now the reason why I chose the do not save voltage option is because if we have a crash, the settings will not be saved and when we restart throttle stop, it would use the last safe voltages, which in this case will be the default. Click apply and then OK. Click TS bench, choose a size and then start. 
focus your attention to the frequency identifier. You will want your CPU to hit its mark with all four cores at 100% and without crash. If you do experience a crash, go back to the voltage regulator screen and adjust your voltage. When you find a setting that works without issue, return to the same screen and click the option Save Voltages Immediately. Click Apply, then OK. Now fast forward. I've tested many voltage offsets and negative 124 works for me. I'll enter them now and save them immediately since I know that it works. Now I will show a small benchmark to make sure everything is up to par with this setting. Hopefully there will not be any crashes. What you see here is the game running without any undervolting. I'm trying everything I can to make the temperatures go up. So I'm trying to blow things up, shoot, and attack different things. Now here is the video with my undervolt applied. Now that you've seen that, did you notice the temperature changes? You do get a drop in temperature. It might be a few. Some games do run hotter than others. So every game, you know, it just varies. Now I'm going to try to adjust the speed shift EPP. We're going to change that 128 to something else. So what does this number mean? The 128. Well, to be blunt, zero is like maximum performance. 255 equals minimum performance. And somewhere in the middle, you got mid performance. So you can have the best of both worlds. From what I've read, 128 is equal to the Windows 10 power option called better performance. Well, that's a little less than half, but that's just what I've read. In the last two videos, did you see how the CPU was down clocking a bit? You can prevent this from happening, not all the time, but for the most part you can. And you can do this by giving the CPU more power. Here is what happens if I enter 10. The CPU speed is very consistent. Now look at what happens Now look at 230. We get FPS drop, but our temps are decently low. It's very unplayable. Now, here is 140. This is what I use for this profile. You have to play around with the numbers to tweak it how you like it. And generally, this is where the profiles really shine. You can have one for battery usage. You can have one for when you are plugged in. And you can have one for just full power. You know, just max it out. I really wouldn't recommend that if you have an Acer Nitro 5 because the machine already runs a little warm, but you could do it on a desktop. Here are all three videos side by side. 
we have stock, undervolted, and undervolted with adjusted speed shift. And by the way, if you want to change the name of the profile, click options at the bottom, go to the desired profile name at the top and rename. When you are done, don't forget to click OK. Well, this is all I have and I hope it helped. In closing, if the video helped you, feel free to like and subscribe. There's a list of all my hardware in the description box as always. And if you would like to support the channel, buy from the links I have listed. And I'll see you next time. Mean Poo.